often many of us have been exposed to sin in our lives. We have been victims, maybe. We have had severe loss. We've had real hardships. We've experienced rejection and, and a, a million other things. What we tend to do is blame God for everything. He's kind of the catch-all for he's to blame. But really, it's actually the devil who influences us. It's broken people making hurting other people. It's broken people hurt broken people. What I want to do in this series is look at the character of God. Look at who is he really in Scripture and these are the things that we can take to the bank. Because I went on this own this journey myself is I started, God started exposing me to his goodness in scripture. And I would take things I would normally just read over and skip, you know, just, oh, I've read that before. And and I would, and, and it wouldn't impact me. There was a season where God just started to show me that who he was, show me in his word, what his character is like. It changed me because I saw him as somebody who was in love with me, who wanted to partner with me, which is such a ridiculous thought, but he wanted to partner with me and he wanted to bless me and he wanted to impart, tell me the secrets of his kingdom way back when in my brokenness, I couldn't have understood that I was worthy enough. But when I started to see his kindness, it opened my heart to understand how much he loves me and how I, in his eyes, I am, I am worthy. He sent his son to die for me. His son took the weight of all my sin on his shoulders, past, present, and future. And so as he showed me his kindness and his character, I began to believe, it became easier to believe that he did love me. That everyone who just says, I don't really know what this means, but I want to know more, that he is willing and excited and passionate about exposing us to his goodness. So that's what this series is about, is is just exposing the character of God so that it can just melt your heart and that you can start to believe that you are made for something special. That God, when he formed you in your mother's womb, before even the beginning of time, he had a life planned for you. And we get to, as daughters of God, we get to live that out. But sometimes we need to just It's hard. The world is constantly bombarding us with negatives. Relationships, people, people sometimes that are the closest to us are bombarding us with the idea that we're not enough. God is saying, do you dare to silence that and listen to me? Not only is it transformational for you, it's also transformational for all the people that you come in contact with. It's transformational in your marriage. It's transformational in your children. And and I'm I can tell you this because I've experienced that. And I made a ton of mistakes when I started to believe what God said about me. When I started to see his heart in scripture and his character, my heart started melting and I started to believe that he loved me and it transformed my relationships. And it's of course a process. I will always be in process. You will always be in process until we get to heaven. But that's what this is exposing. This is going to expose you to the goodness of God, his character, so that you can just live free, that you can believe it and transform your world, literally partnering with God to transform the relationships in your life, to influence the relationships in your life, to influence your marriage and your family and your children. It's such a joyful journey. Join me.